And welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we finished up the remaining troubles of Chapter 1. And met this little guy. Not Goombella, that little guy. Punio, who is helping us, or who enlisted us to help him in the Boggly Woods. Which is where we're going now because there's a crystal star in the great tree and also the Exynos are attacking, so... No time like the present, I suppose. The Great Boggly Tree. That is the, another really lame chapter title because it's literally the name of the place we're going to. I don't get that at all. At all. Um, nitpick aside, we are in the Boggly Woods. He's in the Boggly Woods. They sure look boggling. Oh, I've got butterflies. Okay, just a bit further and we should be able to get to this... See the great tree. The elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little, sis little sister too. Come on, let's go. You said the Boggly Woods. Pretty surreal, huh? Looks like it's out of a picture book. It's pretty, but in an eerie sort of way, you know? Can't argue with that. Logic. So, go forward, and we get a cutscene. Oh, good. It actually is the screen. I couldn't remember if it was the screen or the next screen. Have a good work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we got to do, yes? Mm hmm. A. Find that Mario guy, and B. Steal the crystal. Steal the map to the crystal stars, right? You can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Well, bad things happen all the time, but you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm, what's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh, wait, you mean this? I found you that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was just so lovely, I had to pick it up. Vivian, for shame, picking up someone else's scraps. Disgusting, greedy, but enough about that. Vivian, my dear pack rat, bring out the sketch of that Mario guy you got from Curtis. Me. <laughs> hey, what? I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. That'd be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You're in charge of it. You wretched little worm blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But I... Huh? And she's actually the only one that remembers. She, but she can't talk, so... Guess that works for us. What's that? I must ask you, fellow. This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later. Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost the precious sketch. Listen, I... Uh, look, it's not my fault, I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits. Such impudence. How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child? It's clear to me that you, the only rationale your type understands is force. Well, your predator, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But Beldam, oh, you're horrid. Okay. What do I to do? Um... Why does this Mr. Mustache leave a scram? Right now, I have no business with you. The oldest one really picks on her, huh? Don't know whose pictures are talking about, but you think she really lost it? Okay, moving on. As always, hit every tree. And we got a new enemy. A monochrome prana plant. Uh, you want to first strike it, if at all possible, because these guys are actually a little bit annoying. Fight. Uh, they have 4 HP, and I forgot to load up on power blocks off screen. Because clefts, as you may recall, are from Boggly Woods. So luckily for us, we actually don't need to tattle this guy. Um, so that's one good thing. Also, fire flowers do not damage clefts, so we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. I should not have done the extra command. And, of course, this is the one I match. So you take half damage and lose half your H FP, um, if you do match that. Try the Super Guard. Super Guard will break its defense, so if you're out of FP, which, frankly, we kind of are, I would recommend using, um, the Super Guards to take out Clefts. They're not that hard to Super Guard. You, you'll be able to figure out the timing pretty easily, I think. Um, we're kind of in dire straits now because I matched the one thing we never want to match, which is just typical, huh? And luckily for us, we get a honey syrup, which we shall use promptly 
in order to uh also these guys first strike you really easily so it's really hard to not hammer them because frankly hammering them is useless uh but, but it's also really hard to just not get first struck either also power smash will instantly take them out if you do it correctly so uh they're throwing a mystery so i'm gonna accept it Okay, so we might as well just use the mystery. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, really? Okay, we are getting... A mushroom. Okay, that's a little anticlimactic, but I mean, I'll take it. Uh, and it only heals the one who uses the item, so it's healed Goombella. So, uh, next turn I will put Goombella in the back. I mean, in the front. Because she has more HP, to be honest. Might as well power smash, because we have plenty of FP now. And voila. And the tree's gonna fall. Lifetime's hammers will cause the background to fall. Which is, uh, which does one damage, so if there that cleft was still there, it would have not done any damage to the cleft. Uh, so you get the drill with these guys, so I'm gonna fight them off screen for, this, for the sake of time. But for now, we shall go and... Voila! We have the great tree. There, can you see it? That big tree. I see it. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we peonies live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piders too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. I love how the pipe has a convenient hole for Pino to go through. I just think that's a really nice detail. Uh, and yes, I am a nerd. Okay, moving forward, and by forward I mean to the background, we get to the Great Tree. Which reminds me of Raphael the Raven's tree in the first game, visually speaking. Um, I don't think there's anything hidden here, uh, as far as I'm aware. Maybe a star piece that we can't get yet, but uh, I actually thought I saw something. This is probably the FP version, yep. It also costs 3 BP, so again, just level up FP if you want more FP. Um, what's going on? Well, take a look, this door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it and I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. I'll quit being melodramatic, although it does look thick. Uh, what are we gonna do now? Um, I got it. Uh, where are you going? Up here? Okay. <laughs> I knew he was going up here. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. Can you get in through there? I'm completely sure of it. The uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? How are we supposed to find a secret entrance? It's secret for a reason, you know. Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. You need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Um, I got a flurry. Surely Madam Flurry's powers can help us? Flurry is a fine and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use the wind power to blow the thingy away. Won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so let's head back in the direction we came. From whence we came! Um, I've never seen Lord of the Rings. Full disclosure, I just know the line about the... Like, the, the ring, or something about like, the fire from whence it came, or something like that. So I say that from time to time. So it's the most wonderful in all the world, yes indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have, oh my yes. This place is so different from the bright flashbulbs of the world I'm used to, and also very fuchsia. Such a piece, this negative image of the real world suits my body and soul, but what's even better is that I, Man Flurry, grows ever more lovely here. The squishy, adorable little peonies that live in the tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. And uh, blah blah blah. I already feel the need for drama. A moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on stage on me. 
Surely that's what you've been anxious for the ages. Wow, no ego problem there. So then, I shall rise again, but before I make my stage come back, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll have to pound some- uh, okay. Why is there a treasure chest in the shot? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. No, it's gone! Can't I tell you? My- Well, I think you can figure out what's missing. Uh, based on simple deduction. Uh, <laughs> I mean, well, someone did just find a necklace in the woods, and certainly the peonies can't wear necklaces like that. If that's in this direction, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. Okay, lead on, except I'm leading. This is actually a really easy jaunt. All you have to do is go up the pipe, and uh, use the airplane panel. And then you should... Oh, I miscalculated big time. Well, that's a predicament, so let's go up this hidden tunnel. <laughs> that I totally didn't know about. And also, you can get a P down, D up. For your partner. The P items are always for partner. If there's a P on the end. So this raises defense, but also... Wait a minute. It raises defense and lowers attack. Okay. And there's the other variant too, where it's the other way around. Um, so you have to actually raise this pipe up. And voila. Start peace for our troubles. And let's dodge you because you're a jerk. And actually fight this guy because we. He, well, he's still a little jerk, but, you know, he's a jerk we haven't seen yet. That's what I'm trying to say. That's a dark puff. It's basically a tiny mean thunderhead. Max HP is 3, attack is 2, and defense is 0. Sometimes it'll charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does. Youch. Know what I mean, right? Bzzz. Shocking. After it charges itself, it'll totally zap you with lightning. Be as fast as you can. Sadly, this will take a couple turns. But I have a strat. Fire flower. And that does nothing to the cleft, but we can take out the cleft normally, except not. Uh, we're tiny now, which is a problem because the timing of the attack is a little bit different. I mean, of the guard. Also, we've never used appeal. This just is the same as uh, the thing in the previous game where you basically make wish. See, the timing is different, so I'm not sure about the super guarding timing because she's tiny, so it's hard to gauge. Uh, yeah, I'm pressing it when I should be pressing it, instead of when, uh, accounting for the difference in size. See, now I can do it perfectly. Um, and also I'm trying to get my F, well not my FP, my SP up before, uh, we go up too much further. So if you're wondering why I'm appealing and taking this about making this battle take forever, it's because I'm trying to actually get a lot more SP for the next fight. Uh, why am I going this way? The pipe's over here. <laughs> oh boy. I'll probably fight that guy off, off screen. Um, also, we get a shine sprite with Koops. Koops will probably be our next party member to level up because, in all honesty, um, the next party member isn't exactly one I use very often. This is Quake Hammer, and this is actually completely worthwhile. You want Quake Hammer. Dropping multi bounce, because. No, wait, I want multi bounce. Dropping Power Smash. No, I want to keep Power Smash. Hmm. Okay. For the next area, we need power jump, but in this area, we need power smash, so I'm just gonna switch those at some later time. Pretty Lucky is actually paying off pretty well off screen, not so much on screen, sadly. Um, off screen, I've gotten pretty good luck with it, actually. Okay, I'm gonna fight you just because. Uh, because I feel like it. Actually, we need a Gumbella. <laughs> that was unfortunate, I suppose. Uh, have I shown- yeah, I have shown multi-bounce, because I used it on a couple enemies. Again, just flick as quickly as you can, and you'll always get the timing. And this is the move. 
Okay, he actually did, did a thing. So the electricity move is actually really powerful. So I just want to show this attack because we haven't seen it. Um, see, two damage, that's actually pretty substantial. But we can finish him off with no trouble. And of course we get the slots to line up after we finish the battle, of course. Um, so coins, need those, and we are at Madame Fleury's house. Look, there in the distance, that's where I was telling you, what I was talking about, Fleury's place. This, sadly, another problem I have with this game is with the heal blocks, you have to actually... No wait, never mind, I'm, I'm thinking of something else, I think. Um... Yeah, forget it. I was gonna say it only heals one part here, but I think I'm wrong. Okay, so off we go to the purple house. Fuchsia house, technically. It's not purple. Uh, excuse me. Uh, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. And Flurry, hello? If you're here, say something. Eek! No, out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Uh, man, Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darn squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? It's been ages since I saw you last. Uh, the hilarious part is she recognizes him from his footsteps, not his actual voice. Oh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. The Great Tree's entry hole is blocked. There's a stupid door we can't seem to open. My Punio friends are inside, so they're in a pickle, and Mario needs this crystal star. It's a train wreck, really. If you can find the secret entrance, we're done for. How does he know what a train is? My door below, you know, you know I would do anything in my power to help you, however, lamentably, I'm in the middle of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Ah, uh, what's the matter? Somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. Um, okay. It's absolutely, I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. I totally know how you feel. What accessories? A hat and a scarf? I googled it, it's a scarf. Uh, you lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu big time. I swear someone just said they found a necklace. Uh, we do have a clue to the necklace's whereabouts. And we will bring it back. I'd be delighted to help my squishy little friend. Why do you keep calling him squishy? It's a little bit weird. Yeah, he's super alright. I'm not gonna be a jerk this time. We're running low on time. <laughs> Sorry, trouble you so. So, actually, I wanna go outside because we have to trick a cutscene before we end off. Because I don't wanna trigger this cutscene before I go level. I told you, blaming me for losing the sketch and you had it. Silence, you twit. Now it's not the time to get hung up on stupid details. We must study the sketch. And that looks familiar. Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out that bushy mustache. Know something though? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ah! This Mr. Mustache! Yep. I don't believe this, Vivian. This is without a doubt all your fault. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later. Yeah, she's always the one that gets punished. For even if it's not her fault. It's not fair. About the necklace, I was thinking of returning it but to you, but no more! And since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. Well, conveniently for them, we're actually heading that direction. Um, next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we shall do that. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me for more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door.